Hi everyone, this is Michelle. In this tutorial, I'm going to be looking at more than just the basics of creating navigation. I'm actually going to give you all the tips and hacks you need to deal with any problems you may be encountering when trying to create your own routes. I've got an example to show you where I'm trying to route between two places. You can see a four-wheel drive track on the map. Um, but as I select the places, we don't actually get auto routing following that road and I get a straight line. So I want to show you how to get around that problem. I am online at the time of doing this. I've got driving mode selected and I've added the first place. Now I'm adding the second place. Click add in driving and we've got a straight line. So I'm using the change menu, clicking the pull down. I'm changing it from driving to cycling. And now it's auto rerouted and it's taken that road. The turn-by-turn -turn routing calculator used in the app actually does a call to another system that isn't run by us. And due to some inconsistencies, missing, incomplete data, or lack of verified data can be the reason that driving modes may not work on some segments for route segments between two points. So this is why using other mode options can sometimes get out data that you will find useful. Please notice before you press the accept on a route that there is an average speed that's been calculated. That is based on the mode. So for cycling, the mode is going to use an average speed that is slower than driving. Now, the whole point of doing the auto routing is so that you can get some time and distance calculations in your trip plan. So if it's important to you to get those times more accurate, make sure if you're changing mode that you also change the average speed. So it's just a matter of simply typing in there an approximate speed that you know that you would be driving a four-wheel drive track at. Here I'm going to add to our route. I'm going to select another place on the map. You can see it's not even connected to a road. It's at the end of a gully right up a river. We recently drove there um, on a trip. If you use cycling, it perfectly tracks it into that creek. Um, and look, it's pretty hard driving up that creek and we did do it. Um, it's not for everybody. If you do driving, it goes a long way around. Do cycling, it takes you directly the way we actually drove it. And as shown on the map, the EO Topo map is exactly right for both these tracks. So just jumping forward a bit on this particular trip plan I'm making here, um, you can have a look in the navigation panel. I've actually got a mix now of segments that have been routed in cycling and a mix of segments that have been routed in driving. Just using whichever mode um, sticks to the path that I want to do. The other thing that is very interesting when you're using turn by turn to make routes is that you don't need to use markers um, all the way along. You can skip quite a lot of them, even around turns and junctions and intersections. So here, because there was quite a few markers, I'm skipping over ones that I don't need. I'm even going around the corner here and using one that's through a junction and the auto router knows automatically what to do with that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to insert in another place in the middle of your existing trip plan that you've made. On this trip plan, I want to add another stop. The route goes right past it, but it doesn't stop. So I'm going to find the place on the map and it's called Deadman's Hut. It doesn't exist in my plan already. I just tap the place icon, tap the green route icon, select to insert, look for the location with it amongst the other places of where I want to insert it. It automatically reroutes for me and updates the trek. I just accept the changes. The next thing I want to do is I actually want to change the routing. I don't want it to follow the road the way that it has between Aruna Hut and Deadman Hut. Change driving to cycling first. Then go down and find the Aruna Hut, left swipe, tap the green route icon. It'll now reroute using the cycling mode instead of driving. And what that's done is it's created the ability for me to route along that shortcut. If you're about to start navigation plans, I want to show you how important it is to set up your map layers properly. You should be turning on all places so that you've already got um, icons ready to use on the map and you should turn on all treks. These are the black highlighted lines. If you tap on them, you'll see the name of routes and you can tap on the green routing engine and automatically build a nav plan for yourself that's 
already pre-made with places along the route. So now that you've seen how easy it is to use treks, let's do that same um, routing again without using a trek on the map. I'm just using the places for Burke and Wilcannia and asking the auto router to calculate that route. Now it does calculate two routes, but you can see that trek line has not been used. So the point of that demonstration was just to show you that an existing Explorers trek might already be there and sometimes an auto router may not immediately give you the ideal routing and you would have to go and fiddle around. So keep an eye out for any of those highlighted black and white um, routes that may be useful to you. Further tips, make sure you have a look at the other tutorial that we've got here on using treks and that might help explain how to incorporate existing Explorers treks into your trip planning. So just a reminder here about how to set up your map layers to make sure that you're not using filters and missing out on all places or all treks. Turn on places, make sure it says all places and treks, make sure it says all treks. If there's a filter on, press clear to clear the filter. And if you want to use filters, of course, open it up and tap on the items that you want specifically to be shown and only those ones will be shown and all the others won't be shown. So to summarise, to do your navigation planning, make sure you've turned off all the filters that you're showing all places. And this way, every single town in Australia and so many other different POIs are already available on the map for you to use. Um, the best way to do your planning is to use the existing places. There's no point in going to all the trouble of creating uh, new pin drops for personal places that are just duplicates of what's already in the system. This is far much simpler, it takes all the hassle out of it, and it just keeps all the information consistent across all users. Look, there's a lot of data, 91,000 places already provided in the system, and if there's something missing, by all means, you are welcome to add an existing uh, place that's missing, add it into the public Explorers Places data. Things change all the time, and you can also add comments to existing places to keep that information updated. And we thank you for using Explorers Traveler.